schedule, this is a super exciting update where I call everyone the wrong name. But before we dive into that, I hear Tom. It is Tom. There's something you do want to share with the folks at home. Yeah, so we've got a lot of great stuff coming to Horizon 4, but before we get into it, I just wanted to let everyone know we do have a technical issue which may delay our Series 32 update. Uh, we're working to address it before Thursday, but if we, if we don't, the series will fall back to a backup festival playlist. Uh, we'll, of course, keep you up to date on progress and let you know when we have an update. And with that, let's jump into the festival playlist. So our series rewards at 50%, we've got a Horizon Backstage Pass, and at 80%, we have the ATS GT 2018. In summer, 50%, we have the Zenvo TSRS, that's the one with the tilty wing, a big fan favorite, that. Uh, and at 80%, we have the Mercedes AMG E63. And the photo challenge for summer is take a photo of the new that's right, new 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. How can we take a picture of that, Tom, if we don't have it in the game? Well, I'm pleased to say we're going to be adding it in Series 32. Uh, hashtag prize possession. If you complete the trial, you can earn yourself uh, an open top hammer, which is perfect for those, uh, those summer weeks in Horizon. Uh, that's excess baggage. We've got nine and three quarters coming back for another showcase remix. You're driving the Ford Anglia against the uh, Flying Scotsman, which promises to be a magical time. And if you miss the Napier Railton, uh, you'll get another chance to earn that if you complete the seasonal playground games, summer games. And then if you complete Forest for the Trees seasonal championship, you can earn yourself the 94 Toyota Celica. If you complete the Seasonal Championship Cult Collection, you can get yourself a Toyota Corolla. And there it is. Uh, if you complete Flex Your Muscles Seasonal Championship, you can get yourself the Ford Mustang 2020 Shelby GT500. And Chris is going to be telling us why that is such an amazing car in coming up later in Forza Monthly. The Autumn. So this is new for this series. So. Uh, yeah, we're also going to be sprinkling in a few more Horizon backstages, so uh, backstage passes. So I think we're up to about 22 or 23 cars in Horizon backstage with more get getting added every week. So this is going to give you more opportunities to be able to get the cars you want through Horizon backstage. And then at 80%, we have got the Ford GT40. Photo challenge for Autumn is the take a photo of any Mini with Bamber Castle, and that is hashtag Mini Car Massive Castle. If you complete the trial Monster Mash, you can get yourself a Renault 5 Turbo Forza Edition. And if you complete the Autumn Seasonal Playground Games, you can get yourself the Mini John Cooper Works Buggy. Then in the Seasonal Championship Off-Road Rally, we've got a Playground Games favorite, the Ford Racing Puma. Shout out to Felzilla. And we've also got the Coast to Coast Seasonal Championship. You can get the Lamborghini Reventon Forza Edition. Then in winter, 50%. What's that? Another Horizon Backstage Pass? No way. And then at 80%, we've got the McLaren 12C. Um, and then the photo challenge, you're going to want to get a friend for this one. So take a photo of your car with another player or driver tar at the Express North Rail Yard. Hashtag duos. And if you complete the winter trial, Golden Age Muscle, you can get yourself a lovely fetching classic race suit, which is sure to keep the cold out in these winter months. And the winter seasonal playground games, you can get yourself a 2007 Renault Clio. If you complete the seasonal playground, the, sorry, the seasonal championship uh, going uptown, you can get yourself a Porsche Macan Turbo. The Seasonal Championship Micro Street Scene, you can get yourself a Ferrari 166mm. And to round out winter, completing Downhill Dash will get you the VW GRC Beetle, and we call that one an epic car. <laughs> Finally, in spring, 50% uh, completion, we've got a McLaren F1, and 80% completion, we've got the Lexus LFA, which is a, a super hot car. And photo challenge for spring, take a photo of your car at the Mud Kickers Adventure Park. Hashtag Mud Kicking. 
completing the spring trial, Alfa Romeo and Juliet will get you an Alfa Romeo AC Forza edition. We've got the favorite supersonic versus super fast showcase remix. Then if you complete the spring seasonal playground games, you can get yourself a Land Rover Series 3 Forza edition. And then here is our, our second reward car for Series 32. If you complete the seasonal championship, Shelby coming around the mountain. Pause for laughter. <laughs> Stop! People <laughs> think you scoop comes up with them. <laughs> Shout out to the game designers for that one. Um, you can get yourself the 2012 uh, Shelby 1000. Uh, and also you've got uh, the Muddy Marvelous Seasonal Championship, you can get yourself a Nissan Pulsar, hard to find car, cool car, right, Chris? Yeah, very cool, I love it, I, I really want one. And finally, in the uh, seasonal event uh, for England, you can get yourself an Aston Martin uh, Vanquish. And that rounds out the festival playlist. It's very nice. And some eagle-eyed fans in chat may have spotted a couple clues in that festival playlist. And I did kind of say at the top of the stream that there was going to be a new lush car pack coming soon. And I tell you what, I think it's about time we reveal it. What do you say? Should we do it? Let's do it. Okay, perfect. Check out this trailer then. And there it is, the Hot Wheels Legends car pack, coming soon to a garage near you. But to dive deeper into the Hot Wheels Legend pack, I'm actually going to be throwing over to Chris. Can you take us through a look at this latest car pack and some of the stunning cars that are coming our way? Sure. So the Hot Wheels Legends car pack is a, a pack, there's six cars, and they're all, they are actually real world cars. So Hot Wheels Legend Tour is a competition where people take the cars along to a show, they get judged, and the end result of it all can be their car getting made into a real-world Hot Wheels. So much like the car we just saw in the trailer there, the Hot Wheels uh, 2Jet-Z, it got made into this little there toy, which is fantastic. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got six six cars there. I think they're all round winners, so there's several rounds uh, in a year, um, and you have to win both the round and then the final judging uh, at the end of the year. Uh, so, should we jump in and have a look at some of them? Let's do it. So, this is the Ford F5 Julie. Julie means it's got two two wheels at the back there. Uh, this thing's a kind of a very traditional hot rod in some ways. Uh, so, it's kind of chopped top, uh, very low. But the difference here is it's got a 7.3 litre Ford diesel engine, which is very different to what you'd normally expect to find under the hood of uh, a car like this. It was built by, built by a guy called Mitch Allreed, um, and it won the 2018 uh, first round. Uh, there's actually, a re if, if, if you want to see more on this, there's a really good in-depth kind of nerdy look at it on the Hoonigan YouTube channel. Uh, uh, there's a build biology on it. It's well worth checking out. You stick it up on the lift and, and check out some of the stuff underneath it. It's kind of got some kind of retro race car suspension setup, things like that. It's uh, yeah, one for the car nerds out there. I really like this one. and. Uh, the kind of patina on it, uh, the owner is is uh, adamant on keeping. It gets left outside. Uh, it's it's not a, a baby car in any way. Um, so yeah, this 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 one's really nice. Uh, a bit wide for parking in the UK though. Is that a skull on the back as well? <laughs> it is. Yes. I mean, it wouldn't be a hot rod with that skull somewhere on oh, it. Oh, I love it. I want ten. <laughs> <laughs> so should we move on to the next one? Yeah. Just the the Chevy Love. Uh, this is a really nice story, actually. So, uh, this was built by uh, somebody who I can't remember his name. Uh, his brother used to own this car. It was a show car many years ago. But he sadly passed away, and he made it his kind of bucket list thing to to restore the car back to its former glory. 
uh, and then he took it to the Hot Wheels Legend Tour, and it, it won uh, round two in 2019. It, I really like this thing. Um, I love it when anyone sticks an engine in the back of a pickup truck. Um, taking a very, very useful car and then putting the engine in the back of it, there's just something really naughty and very Hot Wheels-like. It's a, a very toyish thing to do. Um, yeah, I really love this one. It's, uh, it's the engine for those curious 392 supercharged Hemi. Uh, and then, again, kind of typical with hot rodding, it's uh, running a lot of suspension uh, suspension from the Corvette underneath it. So it's doing its best to try and handle well, considering you know all the weight is on the back axle uh, with that, that awesome big engine. So we can probably jump on to the next one uh, in a similar fashion. This one, engine sitting in the middle of it, nice and exposed, very toy-like. Uh, this is a, the International Harvester. International is a new brand to Forza. Um, it was a brand that kind of came about in the early 1900s. It's since moved on to the other things. Um, this one started out life as a truck, as you can see. Uh, and then the owner amazingly built this in three months. Uh, I just can't even comprehend a build like this taking three months. For me, like, I have projects that have been sitting on my drive for years, so months is incredible. Um, and then it's, it's also got that giant rear wing on the back of it just to help balance out the looks of it. Um, and then, yeah, again, following on from a similar theme to the previous one, it's a, a blown V8, a supercharged uh, V8 in the back of it. Uh, this time a, a small block Chevy, which is uh, very much a, a common engine used in, in hot rodding. I really like this one. It's uh, Again, it's taking that purposeful utilitarian car and making it into something very, very special and very toy-like. And then next up, we have this. This is this is a Studebaker, which uh, it's loosely a Studebaker. It's Studebaker by name, and I think there's like three components on this one from the original car, one of which is the windshield. Um, the rest of it's coming from other things. So there's 1960s Dodge in this. There's Chevy Corvette, and my, one of my favorite details on the back, you can see the uh, what what looks to be the the trunk opening, and that's actually from a 1980s Audi. Um, this this was built um, as somebody's dream car, um, and it's, it took them 15 years to, to fully realize it and, and get it to the point of being on the road. Uh, this one, round eight in 2019, I think it was. Um, what I really love on this is it's it's not symmetrical. Sym symmetry in car design is something a lot of people look for, and I love that it just goes completely against that. So you can see on the back, the tail lights uh, asymmetrical, the the trunk. It opening is on the wrong, oh, sorry, on the right-hand side, um, and then eventually, when we get to the front end, it uses headlights on one side from a Harley Davidson, and the other one is from a Corvette flipped upside down, and it's the pop-out style. It's this one; it just looks like a toy, like in every way. Uh, you can imagine a, a nine-year-old driving, uh, drawing this, sorry, uh, as something that they imagine. There it is. Look at those headlights. It's just fantastic. So if we want to move on, so this is a, a Nash Metropolitan. Um, again, this is another 50s car. Nash is another new to Forza brand. They were around uh, from the early 1900s and eventually disappeared around 1957 when they became part of AMC. Um, I love this one as well. So this was, this was a, I think this was the 2019 overall winner. So this, this will be getting made into Hot Wheels. It, this is really a toy to me. Um, the way the wheels stick out, the dice on the carburetor on, on the front of it. It's, again, it's, it's very much form over function. I absolutely love it. Um, up front, we've got, a, I think it's a 300 horsepower small block Chevy, which for these tiny little 165 millimeter wide tires is great because it just roasts them so it slides everywhere. Um, yeah, uh, just, yeah, there, there's a great view of those dice sitting over the carburetor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it's an absolutely lovely, this one. Um, again, kind of fitting with that hot rodding theme. It's got the patina. It's it's hot rodding, but in, in that kind of unique way that you expect to see for, for something being made into a Hot Wheels. So then lastly, we've got... Um, this was the 2019 overall winner. Uh, this, this car sort of moves away from the hot rodding theme, but it's very much a Hot Wheels for me. Uh, so as you saw earlier, it's been made into a Hot Wheels. It, the engine in the back of this, as you can probably guess from the name, 2JZ, is the 2JZ from the Supra, which is an engine I know 
not only our community know and love, but I think the world knows and, and, and loves it. Um, well known for huge amounts of power, um, which it's got here, 650 horsepower, and it weighs 780 kilos, 1600 pounds, so it's insanely quick, this thing. Um, styled loosely on a, a jet fighter, um, more like a rocket ship for me, with that amount of power to weight ratio. Um, and it's, it's very much inspired by early Bonneville salt flat cars, which were built out of old World War II bombshells that then stick an engine inside of because they're very aerodynamic, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, we've got this amazing interior view with the orange tint, uh, which we think is the only other car in the, the game which has a windscreen like this. There's another Hot Wheels car, which was the Rip Rod. Uh, so cool. Like so like cool. Like runner. <laughs> Yeah, it really. Yeah, it's like yeah, Mars. <laughs> Absolutely, Edinburgh has never looked the same. <laughs> yeah, and I think my my favourite detail on this is if you can see on the back of it on the exhaust there, it's uh, the exhaust is actually a vegetable strainer or steamer even that's hooked up to the throttle so it moves around. Um, yeah, absolutely <laughs> lovely set of cars, all of which um, could easily be toys as well as real cars. Absolutely stunning. I think we'll all agree. I love them all. They have such a like unique bunch of characters. They're brilliant. Um, so yeah, those are all of the new cars coming to Forza Horizon for you. Uh, but can anyone here let me know how much this premium car pack is actually going to send us back? What are we thinking? Yeah, I think this is uh, $10, but yeah, really excited for people to get their hands on and coming soon.